Live at 5, this is 13 News Now. Right now, commuters are encountering a problem on Virginia Beach Boulevard. A water main break has forced the road to close between Failure Road and Kentucky Avenue. Public works crews are there working to repair the pipe and the road. Good evening, I'm Janet Roach. And I'm Philip Townsend. So with all of the, that you're seeing there, drivers are having to find other ways to get home tonight. 13 News Now reporter Allie Weatherton is live in Virginia Beach. Allie, when do crews expect to be done with these repairs? Well, Philip, it could be several more hours until this road is back reopened. They started at four o'clock this morning, so they're about 13 hours in. I want to take a step out of the camera so you can kind of see what they're doing. You can see several people are out here on Virginia Beach Boulevard working around the clock. They were looking like they're getting ready to pave, so I'm told that it could be reopened around 10 o'clock tonight, and you would assume a lot of the businesses right here in this area would be closed, but most of them are open. Open. Lots of wrecks, but nothing like this. Mark Wiggleton is talking about a huge hole in the middle of Virginia Beach Boulevard. The road is closed between Thalia and Kentucky Avenue. Crews are trying to repair a large water main break. That hole Wiggleton is talking about sits right in front of his discount office furniture store. He's still open, but many people aren't walking through his doors. You can't get your customers to your store. They have to call on the phone, and because of what we sell, people want to touch it. Can't touch it over the phone. Other businesses are open too. A local dentist says people are late to appointments because it's hard for their clients to weave through the detours. This is kind of a, you know, obviously a major setback for a lot of people. Public Works says the cast iron pipe that broke was old, 70 to 80 years old. In cold weather, they are brittle, and that's what we saw that damage. And now crews will work until everything is restored. Now, public works crews tell me it could be back open around 10 o'clock tonight. If you plan to take this way, you want to make sure you use an alternate route. Bonnie Road would be your alternate route and make sure you give yourself plenty of time to get from point A to point B because there could be some traffic. Live in Virginia Beach, Ali Weatherton, 13 News Now. Well, you may be ready for the snow to completely melt, but a harbor seal spotted near the mouth of the Elizabeth River is absolutely loving it. Too bad that little seal won't be able to float on ice for long, but Evan, warm temperatures again today. That's right. We had a wide range of temperatures as we went through the day today. And temperatures have actually dropped a degree. They've been hovering right now right around the 40 degree mark right along the coastline. But we will definitely see some big changes coming up over the next few days. As we take a look up on the eastern shore, you can still see some of that ice that is out there as well. And temperatures around the region wide range 53 down in Edenton, 48 in Wakefield, 38 in Norfolk and 44 in Melfa. That's why we're saying that they're hovering right around that 40 degree mark, give or take a few degrees and that'll be the case as we go through the evening. A few more clouds here on the south side, but a beautiful sunset and the radar is sweeping clear. Some big changes though coming up over the next few days. A roller coaster ride in temperatures today only got up to about 43 degrees at the airport, but you can see as we go through the next few days up into the 60s, near 70 by Friday, then temperatures will be dropping during the day on Saturday and down into the 30s Sunday and Monday. I'll have much more on that in the seven day forecast coming up in a few minutes. Did he say 70 by Friday? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, another snow day for uh, students across Hampton Roads today. So the kids were out there celebrating the vacation, but now parents are wondering, what's the holdup? Well, we're told in some areas it's still unsafe for school buses to get around. 13 News Now reporter Ernie LeBeau wanted to see for herself. Hey, Ernie, you're driving around some bus routes in Chesapeake right now. You're live. Yeah, that's right. We're actually in the Great Bridge neighborhood. And when you drive on the main roads like Battlefield, no problems. But it's when you get to these back roads, these neighborhood roads, where you're still seeing a lot of that snow, ice, and slush mix. I want to turn the camera because we are at Great Bridge Middle School. And you can see all of these school buses here. I'm told that these school buses, they're cranking them up to make sure they're working and actually doing ride alongs in the neighborhood to make sure everything is ready but still no word on whether or not school will be in session tomorrow. The kids in Hampton Roads are on their fifth snow day. 
While they're happy to have more days off, some parents, not so much. They were hoping it was closed again tomorrow, but I told them don't get your hopes up. Now it's at the point where, uh, you know, they need to go back to school. One problem is getting them to school. Thousands of kids across the area take the bus. We headed out on the Great Bridge Primary School bus route in Chesapeake to see how the roads look. Now, Battlefield Boulevard was clear and it was also drivable at the Edna Street stop. But across the street at James Earl Drive and Dunbar Court, it still looked like a winter wonderland. Some four wheel, you know, from four wheel drive trucks are probably still going to have a little bit of tough time because they're still a little slushy. It makes it a little slippery. Then we headed up the block to Hurdle Drive where the roads were more slushy and bumpy, but some parents were hopeful. My experience has been the bus drivers have always done a really good job getting the kids to and from school. Then on Onser Drive, still more snow, slush, but signs of melting, leaving many people wondering whether or not the big thaw will come soon to get kids back to school. And I know the back roads are bad, um, but uh, maybe at this point just open school and whoever can make it, make it. And, and you know, if not, then, you know, they can just stay home and not be penalized. Right now you're looking at a live look along Mount Pleasant Road. Still, the area is blanketed in snow and slush, but we are starting to see somewhat of a thaw, a melt out here. So people are just waiting to get that call about whether or not school will be in session and if you can get those kids out of the house finally. Reporting live in Chesapeake, I'm Ernie LeBeau, 13 News Now. Thanks, Aaron. You stay safe out there. All right, coming up on 13 News Now at 5, see how working parents are handling these snow days. We're going to visit a local child care center that's seeing a little more customers than usual this week. Mm. All right, live to our traffic network, looking over the new I-64 express lanes in Norfolk. Tolling began today with prices fluctuating based on traffic volume. Tolls peaked at $1.25 during morning rush hour. Also today, state officials voted to add more hot lanes on 64 when VDOT expands the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel. The resolution calls for one tolled lane in each direction between interstates 664 and 564. Now, construction starts this Friday on a massive project to expand the high rise bridge in Chesapeake. Crews will add a new span with two lanes right next to the existing bridge. That means eventually there will be three lanes of traffic in both directions. Now, keep in mind, VDOT tells us one lane in each direction will be tolled. They also plan to widen eight miles of I-64 between 264 and 464. This project costs $405 million. A 26-year-old Virginia Beach man is in jail tonight, charged in a hit-and-run crash that killed someone. Police say Tyler Hutton hit 40-year-old Thomas Hitt's car in the early hours of New Year's Day. Happened at the intersection of South Independence Boulevard and Bonnie Road. Police say Hutton got out of his car and took off running. Hitt died from his injuries. Hutton is being held without bond. After weeks and weeks of drama and razor thin margins of victory and defeat, finally today the Virginia General Assembly got down to business. Mike Gooding has the latest from the state capitol. Finally, the 2018 session of the Virginia General Assembly is underway. And by mid-morning, with Shelley Simon's concession in the 94th House District race, all the drama was over and Republicans maintained control of both the House of Delegates and the State Senate. And with that, Kirk Cox became the new Speaker of the House of Delegates. But with 15 new Democratic House members, including Virginia's first transgender lawmaker, Danica Rome, things are bound to be different this year, meaning possible action is expected on Medicaid expansion, gun control, and marijuana decriminalization. Uh, I found based on what happened, you know, uh, last time we were close to parity, uh, we're able to get a lot of things done in a bipartisan manner, and I think that's important uh, to move forward in a bipartisan manner on, on ultimately what I hope all of us are up here for, certainly myself, is what's in the best interest of Virginia. I think we have an extraordinarily diverse group of new people coming in, all types of different backgrounds. You know, I'm not an attorney, I'm a high school science teacher. And I think those are pieces that add to what's going to make our process great. Oh, look, I think now we're at 5149 as of today, and I think that gives us a real opportunity to start working together on solutions for the Commonwealth of Virginia and for our citizens. And that is a really exciting thing to think about. This is going to be a 60 day session, meaning lawmakers will be here until March. In Richmond, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.